Boom. And what is up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Welcome to Office Hours. This is the AI video and animation stream. My name is Tyler. I am the social media and content manager here at Civitai. And on Thursdays, we have some fun and we make some really cool AI videos while I answer questions and give you guys some tips and tricks about running things like Animate Diff and Comfy UI and workflows. So we'll give it just another minute here and let some more people kind of pile in. Um, Twitch chat, how am I sounding? Am I okay? Is my audio okay on Twitch for you guys? Let's do that check real quick before we start talking about anything. Hey, awesome. Okay, so... Guys, look at my screen right now. I <laughs> the, see the this fir the first first time chatter. Toby Dabu already got it going. He got the perfect emoji for what we got going on on the screen right now. So today we are going to have some fun, and we are going to showcase even further that double masking IP adapter workflow that I walked you guys through last week. Um, specifically the LCM one, I want you guys to really see what kind of great results you can get with just like a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of imagination. Um, if you're willing to do just like a little extra prep work to your video. Now, I saw this video of this girl running in place just as I was scrolling through, um, Instagram the other day looking for videos. This girl's from a Japanese dance troupe called Avant Garde. And they, they like, they usually all dress up in the same schoolgirl uniforms and they have these same like very symmetrical haircuts and they just like do these really, the dances just look insane because they all look the same and they always have like these deadpan expressions. This particular member of the group has been going viral making these videos of her going into like some public, some big public area in a big major city and running in place like she's running away from something. I saw this and I immediately, I don't know why, but just like the thought that immediately popped into my head was Attack on Titan. So I already made the Attack on Titan video where if you could have probably guessed it, um, she is Mikasa. If you guys are familiar with Attack on Titan at all. You already know what I'm talking about. And then I just made the Titan look even more Titanish. So before I tell you what we're gonna do today, let me show you what my end result was with what I did to this right off the bat. So we use these IP adapter images. We have two different images of Mikasa just so that it could kind of really understand what she looked like and who I was talking about when I said it in the prompt. And we used these two images of the Titan that I generated. And I wanted there to be a bit of a background in there with the Titan and not just be like the Titan on like a black background because since the Titan is the background image for the IP adapter because the only part that's masked is our girl. So if the Titan's gonna be in the background, we also need there to be some type of like environment with him so that we can pull that environment into the video too. So subject, background, we got our mask of the girl running, which was super easy to mask in After Effects. It was like, because she's wearing all yellow. The background is super bland. It's just like super easy, right? Um, and then this, the Titan is actually just a video, like a green screen clip of the Titan that I found on YouTube. I downloaded that. I pulled it into After Effects. I cut her out, slapped the Titan behind her, tracked the Titan to the camera. So he like went in and out. You see how his head cuts off? as the camera's kind of getting like closer and further from her. And I just put them behind there. Like this is about as low effort VFX work as you could possibly get, right? And the prompt is nothing special. 
but I'm telling it again exactly what we're looking at with the IP adapter. So the prompt is just Mikasa from Attack on Titan being chased by the Colossal Titan. Background is a bright, vibrant forest. Titans and zombies in the background. Nightmarish anime, horror anime. And guys, let's look at the upscaled one. Let's look at this. Tell me, tell me that is not so good. <laughs> because because we're still even though she's masked we're just using the mask to capture the attention for one part of the for the first ip adapter and we're you still have control nets in play so i have i have depth cranked all the way up to 0.6 and we're using open pose. So it's still getting the Titan and his movement and his body shape in the back. And it's just applying that IP adapter image. So I, I wasn't sure how well this was going to work because I was trying to get both the background and the, the ca that character that I put in the background from one IP adapter. Um, but this worked out perfectly like this. Come on. Yep. Ingles, Inglestein said in the Discord chat, just another Thursday. But now. So, so, what we are going to do here, though, is you guys are, and I already have the Discord group loading photos in. We are going to redo this because he does not have to be a Titan. She does not have to be a girl. So even though we're going to use this character, this Titan, ooh, that, that, that image that just came through on the Discord chat is a good one. I really like that. That's, we're, we're definitely going to try that. Um, even though we are doing the, oh, oh no. Oh. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. My bad. It's all good. No, it's all good. Oh, oh, sorry. Here. Here, um, camera. Oh, sorry. Give me one second. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Give me one second. Oh, what, what the hell? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Twitch, Twitch, give me one second. Twitch, give me one second. One second, one second, one second. <laughs> Can you can, can you guys can you guys hear me in Discord? Oh man, Discord lost me. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure why you guys can't hear me on Discord. Yes. Yes, I can. Sorry guys, give me one second here. Give me one second. Give me one second here. One second. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're back. Okay. Boom. Okay. Got it. We're back. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. So Civitai moment, right? Don't 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 clip that part. Okay, so so Discord, let me not mess that up again. So I just want to go to the chat, and here we go. Okay, so this was the image that I was looking for right here. This is a big boy. We're definitely gonna use. All right, let's. You know what? Let's let's start off with something very um. Very, very Civitai and big boy is going to be chasing her. So let's just try it and see what we get. So we got a little redhead anime girl and we got this guy. So, so let's, 
Paul, what what's a what's a prompt here? Um <clears throat> Uh, fire, ah, spelling derp, fire sorceress in a dress being chased by a fat warrior, a f fat Warrior sumo wrestler. No, he's he this 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 is this is this is a fat man. Um, background is a bright, vibrant forest. That's true. Uh, we don't need that, and we'll keep the the nightmarish and the horror anime in there. And let's just see what we get. Let's just see what we get. Because the IP, the, the prompt doesn't need to be perfect, but we just need to slightly tell it what it is looking at. So, let's just see what we get there. Um, Sacred Mary, there is a workflow on Civitai for the attention masking. Um, if you give me a minute, I can grab that link for you, but there is actually a workflow to ha to do the masking for you that will give you the alpha mask video um i personally do it in after effects and just rotoscope them out on my own oh bro i can already tell this is going to be a good one i can already tell just from the faint little image here i can already tell this is going to be amazing hope hopefully it 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 gives him um man man boobies and not the not the not the other kind but okay let's let's see here <laughs> that bro okay we we need the we need the upscaled version But dude, look how look how look how great that is with like with like the fire and stuff from the image. Of oh, the character in the back is so. I, I yeah, the way this guy looks is insane. <laughs> the the bottom of the skirt is barely covering <laughs> yes the giant the giant is letting is letting it flow the giant is letting it flow let's queue up our next our next chase scene here so let's see i got a couple images say let me just see what else people have been sending um this one i definitely want to use next this i think is perfect for the girl angle scene um and we're going to do okay no erotaku we'll do that together that we'll save that for together okay so we'll go one two and we're going to try this guy and then after i want to try the picture of this shark so we're going to we're going to try um this okay uh i'm gonna say is that android 13 being chased by master roshi I'm pretty sure Stable Diffusion knows who who these people are. Um, there's not really a background in here, so we will just leave that and just see what it does. Um, so here's our upscaled version of this guy. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh wait, is that not Master Roshi? Is that Is that not Master Roshi? Either Oh, and Android 13 is the dude. Android 13 is the guy. Oh, I either either way. Either way, it's gra I can already see it's grabbing it. It's grabbing it. So the prompt was kind of inconsequential for this one. And then just so just so you guys are aware, um, this is the LCM, which is why it's going so fast. We are running this at only one, uh, at only ten steps. Whoa, yeah, I like this. We'll upscale this guy too. And it, it just made the coolest background just like by itself. The the best part is in like the very in the very end of the video, um she gets really close and her face gets like insane. But okay, so that one All right, we're going to try this. I want to see what this looks like. So, so we're going to do um a female cyborg being chased by great white shark. Background is Deep ocean floor, and we're gonna we're gonna see what happens there. We want to say ocean floor because we definitely want it to know that it's on the floor. But we'll cue that guy up. Master Roshi is finishing here. I think this 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 looks insane. Like I I don't know, just the whole like the way it's kind of tying it together. The only way this could have been better is if um i had put a shadow on the titan before i pulled it out of after effects that's the only thing that's missing from this is like the because his feet on the ground kind of kill it for me how separated that looks but that's the only part of this that i think could be better ill feet All right, so okay, that's a, that. I like that. That is a good. Ooh, look at his face, man. This one, this one got a little janky with her foot, but I actually think that um, the foot might be because it's looping the video and it's only fifty frames. I think if we actually ran it longer, that that would mostly be fixed. So. Those are two very promising ones. Um, we have our android being chased by the great white shark. I wonder if it's actually going to make him a shark. I'm really curious. I don't, um, I'm unsure, but we'll get the upscale on that going while we queue up the next one before we go look at it. So I got to go back to Erotaku. Erotaku is right here. So. Eritaku wants Bane to be chasing this guy. Oh, you want the pink guy to be chasing Bane? Okay. Gotcha. We'll do that. Okay, Bane from Batman being chased by how do you want to describe this the the the, the pink guy? Being chased by B 
background is... I feel like the background is going to make whatever it wants to make, so we'll just put the bat cave. And we will do that. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> All right, so here's the low res of... So it didn't really know... It didn't really... It's, it, looks, it seems like it didn't really know what to do with the shark. I, thi I think we need an image of like an anthropomorphic shark person if we want that to happen. Yo... Can someone can someone can someone grab me a picture of Mario and we'll do Mario chasing Donkey Kong or like Donkey Kong chasing Mario? Well, I'm just saying that because someone put a mil militant hitchhiker just put Donkey Kong in the Discord chat. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 sorry, Discord, say something. Uh, meow. Twitch, can you hear Discord now? I am speaking. Hey, Twitch chat, say peanut if you can hear us. Uh, I can, I'm talking. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize that the, that one, that the screen capture audio thing was muted. Sorry. I promise oh, it's mostly been, I, I, prom right. I promise it's mostly been me rambling here. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. The this is the upscale from this one. Yeah, I just didn't know what to do with the shark, but I do like that like it it actually made them under the ocean and his head is like poking out of the water yeah. and it puts sharks in the background. Like we did get sharks in there, it's so, <laughs> you know, just not where we wanted them. Oh, this Whoa, bro! It had no idea what to do with that guy Whoa. in the pink suit. <laughs> hey, can, can, can can you make uh, Donkey Kong uh, chase the uh, the banana from the peanut butter jelly dance? <laughs> send me, send me the banana. Send me the banana. He's got it. Okay, we're gonna grab Donkey Kong. Okay. And we're gonna grab Mario. Boom. It's me. And okay, first we're gonna do the banana with Donkey Kong. <laughs> first we're gonna do the banana. So this is gonna be this is I don't even I don't I have no idea what this one's gonna turn out like, but this this is gonna be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what the AI is gonna do with Mr. Banana right. here. <laughs> How's that gonna work? Is it Let's I'm see. gonna predict it's gonna have just like a dude wearing like a banana suit or something, like like he's gonna, or like it's gonna be like a shirt that has a banana on it, actually, or something like along those lines. Yes. <laughs> All right, Donkey Kong. Let's see if it actually turns her into a banana. I think the upscale of this one will actually look pretty cool, though. I think the guy in the pink suit is super funny. So far, I gotta say, though, I actually do like the underwater one the yeah. best. Like, I will, I, we'll revisit this one and actually try to turn him into the shark because this is super yep. cool like, with, like... Yeah. The water on top adds, like, another layer to it. Although, now like I want to see... No, no, I want to see uh, Jason Momoa as Aquaman being chased. <laughs> oh, perfect, actually. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it had no idea what to do with that guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. 
<laughs> yeah, <I> did cats. <laughs> and and so so look at the look at the background in the actual video, and just like so you can see like where it's pulling the the lines and the architecture from. So you can see like the shape of the building and how it's like faintly being pulled into the renders like this one it made the the archways of the building into sharks that is awesome oh boy oh i think i might be right about the banana suit <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> we'll upscale that guy. All right. Let's do um I saw Bowser. I saw Bowser. Angle scene sent Bowser. And you already got your Mario. Yeah. Your so Mario. Do do we want Mario chasing Bowser or Bowser chasing Mario? I think it should be Mario like chasing Bowser. But All right. <laughs> Because it's like it's he's gonna running after him in the castle. Cats, that's a great point. It made Donkey Kong actually look like the the Titan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, uh, Bowser. Otaku, what is this? Girl, Taku, what is this? What is this Bowser Super Mario World being chased by background is uh, Bowser's castle. Bowser's castle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, and we'll say <laughs> Super Nintendo. I wonder if it's going to keep Mario's proportions or if it's going to do some weird wonky stuff. No, it's it. going to become a Titan. Okay. It's go it's so going to do some yeah, it's going to do some weird wonky stuff just because it still has to work within the constraints of the the okay. image we're giving it, you know? Okay, fair. But but I can show you guys uh while we're waiting, well, let's see this upscaled one of Donkey Kong real quick with this silly banana thing. All right, boom. I think that's pretty good. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at how it did that. That's how it interpreted the like the face. That's awesome, actually. Yeah. Okay, it's like so. A Muppet. <laughs> so sacred, Mar <laughs> so so sacred Mary on Twitch said. So do you have two alpha masks for two characters? So let's just do a quick recap here. Um, this workflow takes a, your main video right here on the left. And then in this load video box, you load in your alpha mask. And oh, that's why, that's why the characters are bleeding. I had the skip first frames different on the mask. So it was taking the mask at the part where she was bigger. So it was putting some of the, the subject onto the background. Which is why the uh, yeah. the monkey the monkey had some of the banana on his pants. Oh. But so so okay, this alpha mask is only for the subject, right? This, you just need the alpha mask for the subject. Whatever is in the white here is what's going to be affected by this first IP adapter that is labeled as subject. We have this linked into a convert image to mask node. And it finally runs into an invert mask node. The invert mask is what is, um, it's automatically going to flip it for the other, for the background. So now the two images in here are going to be everything in the white space. Does that make sense? So, yeah, wait. So if before it was kind of like the subject was leaking onto the background, I wonder then if we try the, the the shark one again fixed 
Like, I mean, it's still going to probably make it, like, humanoid, because this AI doesn't know how to do not humanoids. But I, bet it'll, I bet it'll work better. I bet it'll work better. Yeah, that's what I bet. I bet it you'll get, like, a humanoid shark without having to put an image of a humanoid shark in it. Cause see, look, what? Bowser. What? Ba well, no, no. This, this, this was, this was, this was before I fixed the mask. Yeah. So this was before I fixed the mask. Wow. Oh, oh, there huh. you go. That's like that dog. is a that is a frightening Bowser. Oh, now but okay. Going, now it's going the other way. Now, like, now he's got a Mario hat. The Bowser. Yeah, but so okay. Here's. Oh, why, why is the IP adapter image look all weird like that? Don't so, yeah, so I think um, it doesn't really recognize transparency. So I think the background there kind of messed it up. Here, I actually have, because I just did um, two videos let let me just try this real quick since we're on the mario thing um elias so i did mario for this guy so let's pull mario here and let's actually make mario boom and then we'll go boom and then um i did a princess peach one for my instagram the other day where she was on a skateboard. So we'll have Mario chasing Peach. Let's try that. All right. You're a taco. I want to see the, mi the Gruen minion one now. <laughs> And here, let me let me show you guys real quick what um this actually what what I actually got here because this looked super cool. I thought um bum 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 comfy comfy. I have so many so many videos, man. Um. Bam. Um, take a look at I thought this parkour clip came out super cool. Yo. I thought that I thought that one came out pretty cool, but okay, let's see. Um Okay, it seems to not really like Mario. On the Titan, it might be struggling because of his cartoon proportions. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. So okay, let's let's move on. You're not gonna win with every image. So I do still want to try the the shark one again as it was to see if the fix like cha how much it changes it. Bet. Let's do that. So boom. Yeah. We will go down here and we'll find the shark. And we'll pull the shark in right here. And then we'll make sure that the mask frames are good. Boom, boom, boom. And we will try this again. And let's see how good the shark one comes out without the mask flubbing up. Um, first time chatter, what is up? Thank you for joining us. All right, so let's get another one queued up for after the shark. Let's see what else you guys have sent. So we got crazy zombie thing. I like crazy zombie thing. Thank you, Chris. Boom. Dead cells could be cool. Thank you, cats. Mm -hmm. We got Sip coming in with that prime sub. I appreciate the support. 
Yes, oh, day thank boss you. Man. Thank you for the sub, boss man. Oh, so, Dever has an interesting one. Uh, it's the, like this like water weight lady, and I'm wondering if like how the the AI will manage like a transparent ca- or partially transparent character. Okay, we will try that. Hey, um, uh, Pit P, can you find me a Tom and Jerry that are not on transparent backgrounds that actually have like the the background images to them? Since we just saw what happens with the transparent backgrounds with Mario and Bowser. Yeah. And then I'll definitely, I, I definitely want to run the the Tom and Jer- the Tom and Jerry. Yeah, you gotta. Uh, Tyler Megasans is asking uh, how you do your uh, setup. Uh, what's what setup? Setup for uh, your uh, streaming PC and then uh, your uh, AI stuff. Oh, so um, I am I'm streaming. Your streaming PC is pretty beefy too, right? Yeah. So my my PC is a 4090, um, an i9 13 9000 with 128 gigabytes of DDR5. Jeez. I'm not actually, I'm not actually, I'm not actually streaming off of the PC though. Um, the stream is happening off of my my Mac Studio, and the PC that you're seeing Animate Diff run on right now is I'm remote desktoping into it from the Mac. So I have the Mac on on my vertical monitor with my OBS and everything, and then my main monitor is what you guys are seeing right now. Hmm. I actually I actually have a have have a third um thirty ninety one too. It's just when I started getting um when I started doing AI music videos like a year ago with Warp, the first thing I did with some of that extra money I was making was buy a was by a 4090 like as quickly as I could. <laughs> um okay, so ooh, ooh, look at what happened to Shark Man when we fixed the mask. Look at that. Whoa. Wow. That is not at all what I was expecting. Oh my Bro, God. I think I think this one's this one might it's going to take a lot to beat this one out today. Dude, like wow. this is it's got everything. It's got the like the head poking out oh, of the that? water. It's got the horrifying like chest shark. Okay, here, wait, wait. You know what? You know what? Let's let's keep. We're we're gonna do Tom and Jerry. I promise we're gonna do Tom and Jerry. But real quick before we move away from the shark in the water, let's see what happens if we turn the girl into this transparent water thing oh, that girl. Dever gave us, which. Hey, FYI, um, and I'll mention it again at the end of the stream, we are doing, we are starting our Friday special guest creator streams tomorrow, same time as our Thursday stream, so same time as today, and our first guest is our very own Dever from the Civitai community who is going to be walking us through and going over how to get better at prompting specifically for your images in Stable Diffusion. So... Don't miss that. I'm gonna be here with him. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hosting it. And then next week, um, Friday, we have Enigmatic E coming on with me. And if you don't know Enigmatic E, you should go search him on YouTube because he makes incredible AI tutorial YouTube content. So you guys don't want to miss the Thursdays and you don't want to miss the Fridays. The Fridays will also be recorded and uploaded to YouTube immediately after they're finished. If in case you can't make it, so um, this one female, we're, she's not a female cyborg. This is Dever, prompt man. How should I describe the transparent woman for this in f- as few words as possible? Translucent aqua girl. Tran- should I should it be translucent or transparent? Ooh. Water elemental is uh, good. I like that. A water nymph. A <laughs> water nymph. Glass or translucent. Okay, let's say translucent. Translucent um woman made of water. Or you know what? Maybe we try the That way she's not so human. Um remember last week I was telling you I was having great success 
calling things sculptures instead of people. Uh. So maybe we try that translucent sculpture, um, translucent female sculpture made of water. And let's just see what it gives us. And we're going to go straight to the upscale on this one. Yeah. Yeah, nymph, nymph scares me with the NSFW thing. I wasn't, that was the first thing I thought too. Nymph is, we're not, we're not touching nymph. <laughs> yeah, right. So, okay, we can move. Not on, not on stream anyway. Not on not stream, stream anyways. And just so you guys know, my PC, um, since someone was asking about temps, um, my PC doesn't really run hotter than about like 70 or 70, it, like I think 74 is the highest it goes up to um, when I'm generating, even when the GPU is kind of maxing out. Is that so, low? Um, I don't know if it's low, but it seems to be average. For me, when I'm when I'm just doing normal stuff, when I'm not running like uh, anime diff or comfy or anything, um, my GPU temperature is at about forty to forty five. Yeah. So it does like basically double. <laughs> so, so yes. Like... Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I, I have no reference for what it, temperatures in the computer should be. All right, and then we got, I saw the Tom and Jerry one come through, so we're going to do Tom and Jerry next, because Twitch requested Tom and Jerry, so we are doing Tom and Jerry. Yo, we're also going to do this Pikachu one, but I'm a little afraid of the coloring of this Pikachu. I feel like it might be a little too um, saturated and intense, but we'll still try it. But we need something proper to chase Pikachu. I think maybe this guy. Oh, can, can't you make uh, Pikachu the chaser? I, I can make Pikachu. We could try making Pikachu, it, Pikachu the chaser. It, it, it looks so angry. I was going to suggest Pikachu as, you know, the, the victim <laughs> and like Ch James or Jesse. No, no. From <laughs> chasing no, no, no P Pikachu chasing Ash. Pikachu chasing oh, Ash. Someone, so, no, someone give me a sick picture. Missing. Okay. <laughs> someone, what? someone, someone, give me a sick picture of um of Misty or Ash or something that we can have Pikachu chasing. Or Team Rocket. That would be also good. good. Oh yeah. Not transparent. Exactly. Yes. Uh, I like I like this little mushroom alien thing. Oh <laughs> yeah. Okay, you you're you're walking through the forest and you're just hanging out and you're having a good day and you look down and you see this staring at you. What do you do? Uh, wake up. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, you don't you don't put that one in the bottle, nice. So she, Okay, so what I have noticed um in general is that sometimes it does have a difficult time with like transparency. Um, I'm not going to zoom in on that one because I think we got a little bit of nipple action. So, uh -oh. so, oh, no, it's all good. So, um, let's do Tom and Jerry first. We want our, the mouse being chased by the cat, right? Or do we want it the other way around? I gave you Brock for, for your Pokemon guy. Wait, is Tom is is Tom the mouse or is Tom's the mouse, right? No. Tom's, Tom's the, the cat. Tom's the cat. Tom's the cat as in Tom Tom's the cat. The cat. Tom, Tom's cat. Tom okay. Cat. Okay. Um being chased by Boom, and let's see what he gives us. Damn, man, I this 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 one is so good. I I, I feel like it. we I feel like we could make her into something better, um, that matches more 
with the shark. I feel like the okay. style okay. of the Yeah, I feel like well, the style of the cyborg was just a little is like too contrasted against But we it. already we already had the idea of uh, Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. True. Aquaman. Okay. okay. Okay, before the stream ends, we'll go back and we'll do that one cuz this one to me is definitely like the winner. Oh, but also on this one with the translucent girl, it took some of the shark. It took the shark off of his chest. Aww. A, a little. Not, not, a little, not, not yeah. Completely. Not completely. A little bit. There's a little bit of him in there. Uh, bro, oh, this oh is, my is, goodness. Is, is that, <laughs> are, you guys, are you guys ready for some nightmare fuel? Oh, wow. No. <laughs> you guys ready for some proper Tom and Jerry nightmare fuel twitch? <laughs> Fucking like real rat <laughs> Although uh, Perma Grimfield uh, um, posted a, a mermaid, could be f a fitting yeah. idea I too think, for, for I the, uh, I've... the shark one. Yeah, I like that. I like that, Perma Grin. Thanks, G. And let's see. Let's see. It, this one's pretty cool. That's cool. So you know, you know what this reminds me of, and I feel like there's like an opportunity here. Like, um, it would be really cool if a bunch of you guys who had the ability to run the workflow because you had a, a good enough GPU, if we did a video like this and everyone sent me their renders, like I made the base video for you guys, I gave you the video you had to use, and I told you what control nets, what settings like everything and all you really had to do was mess with your prompt and your ip adapter images um and and i would provide the alpha mask i think i don't know if you guys have ever seen the um th like the 3d challenges uh from the corridor crew and stuff where you know everyone oh. is given a 3d template and then they all submit their stuff and then they edit them all together oh it's like the one where like the, it's like it's kind of like there's like a yeah. 25 minute video and it's yeah yeah, guy yeah. dragging something along but they do Eight. like hundreds and hundreds of them yeah they're really cool dude they just um they just had one let me let me real real quickly while we're waiting for that to generate just show you guys um what look at look at how uh, oh, 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 oh. yeah look these, at how, yeah Dude, this this is this is awesome, right? And these are from all like various VFX guys. Yeah, but w w we could totally do this with AI mm. if Absolutely. like just a, if enough people submitted the videos, and then I could just. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! So wow! As it, it's Thanks, like. I hit it. <laughs> wow! This is exactly what AI is for. That's like and some so, weird. That's some weird gimp suit stuff going on there, man. In the background. So, so look, if we were to swap out the Titan with like a giant cat or something, like we could totally get these things to look how we want. We're a little restricted to the constraints of like Great. what we're working with for these videos, but. I hope you guys can see the potential like all of this has. Mm. Uh, um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I want to do Pikachu oh. chasing. Uh, did someone send me another Pokemon? I, I, I sent you Brock. Hey, I, 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 I said to Mimi from Digimon as. <laughs> oh, that's true too. That's a good idea. But I wanted to it's... do Brock because I wanted to see. If the AI will respect the fact that Brock always has his eyes closed. Can you get me one without text? Oh, sh does that mess it up? I, I mean, we, we just want to lessen the opportunity for it to put text on it. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh... So, so Sacred Mary asked, how long could the loop be? So I would make the video, um, like the source video for you guys, and provide the alpha mask. That I would rotoscope Angry myself. So, pasted one in without text. Cool. Um, I think the the source video will probably be just like five seconds. So everyone just does a five second animate diff that has to be that has to come out to a certain resolution. Um, 
and then I would just edit them all together. And I think that would be super sick. And I, I think that that's going to be a contest idea that I pitched to Justin and Max for a video contest or yeah. not even, a, not even just like a, well, yeah, we, we'd probably pick the top five and then that would be something cool. And I think it would be different too. So yeah, then you could put it, put it together and put it onto YouTube as well. Exactly. So okay, um, Brock from Pokemon being chased by a giant Pikachu. Background is a Pokemon forest. All right. See what happens here. Let's see what happens here. So, as far as VRAM goes, um, and I could always upscale stuff in Topaz, but I would rather not have to upscale like hundreds of five second animate diffs, but I would if I had to. Um, I think the resolution we would probably shoot for, just because it's more realistic for everyone, is probably 720, even though like. If we want to post this thing on social media, 1080 is is the resolution that everything is. And VRAM requirements to do something like this is typically around 12 to 14 gigs. Tyler, but for I such think a if we do the other project with uh, machine dilutions instead, I think we could all uh join a project like that considering that uh workflow only requires 8 gigs. That is that really that is a good point. And um I I I'll, I'll actually talk to him and see Just if one note on that. Oh, uh, with the new for updates for the animate diff nodes and the uh, video nodes, you've got a um, batch management tool now. So you can actually set your node batches within your graphic card's tolerance so down to as low as like 16, 10, 5 frames whatever. So you can pretty much run it on whatever, um, as, as long as you keep your batch numbers low enough and your uh, resolution. Where, uh, where do we, uh, where do we uh, access that, Militant? The video nodes um, from the uh, video uh, helper suite uh, all have it. Uh, you'll notice that they've all now got an input on them that says batch manager, and you've just got a batch manager node that handles it. So you've already got you the mean, video helper suite. It's on the VHS, right? Yeah, it's on the VHS suite. You've already got it. You may need to update it if you haven't already, but um, just double check if you double. Uh, it looked like your nodes already had the updated. Um, uh, oh, okay. So, it, so yeah, I'm gonna say do it later. Just, <laughs> just double click and look for the batch manager. Oh, there's the batch manager node on the start of the video helper upload. You see it there? Oh, right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, so drag that out, and you'll have the batch manager node. There it is. And you can set that to whatever batch size you want to make it manageable. So obviously, if you've got a uh, 4090 like uh, uh, me and JBoogs, you can uh, pump that up to 500, 700, whatever. If you can't, keep it down, keep it low, and then run that on low VRAM or whatever. So, so, for some, for, so, okay, so for someone who has 8 gigabytes of VRAM, what do you think they should run this on? I haven't done any testing personally, so they might need to test it themselves and figure it out. Gotcha. Well, got those of you with smaller um, GPUs and video cards, in case you didn't get that, you're going to want to make sure your nodes are updated from your Comfy UI Manager. And from your load video node, you should have this batch manager thing. If you just pull this out and drop it, boom, select VHS Batch Manager and you connect that to all your vhs nodes so you connect it to your output nodes you connect it to the the whole lot uh, anything that has the batch manager attached the mask okay okay so it'll yep. go everywhere yep uh, oh and that way it ma maintains the batch management through all of those nodes and then that way you, when you do the video combine at the end it also manages the batches there so you still get the full length video even though it's managing smaller batches so does this Do you... allow you to do oh my. video with a batch size one? Yeah, absolutely. So like uh, previously, I could only run video as long as like 30 seconds at full resolution if I was like doing a, a full um, 
pull down into the control net videos that I make. And uh, now with that, you can go for any length. I can do a full 15 minute video and, and just wow. let it go. It'll go through the batches. Yeah, I will try that on my four gigabytes card then. <laughs> That's that's pretty <laughs> sick. Hey, if you if you guys have if you guys have any questions about that, feel free to shoot militant hitchhiker a DM yeah. on Civitai or go comment on he, so militant hitchhiker is the guy who created the workflow for the control nets to get the um the attention masking out of it if you don't want a rotoscope. So I would definitely um hit him up if you need more info about that. Probably not something I'm going to worry too much about just because I have a 4090, but good to know for those of you who are working Absolutely. with low VRAM. And Katz, uh, because Militant said that he hasn't um, tested it extensively yet and he doesn't have low VRAM, you're, you're, you're going to just want to play with that and see what works for you and then report back to us. But okay, do we see the Pikachu? Do we all see I the Pikachu? See I do see him. You know what I... I it actually, <laughs> that is I want to mention, the way that it's, like, done the... It's, like, it's taken the Titan, like, head part and, like, put, like, little ears, like, Pikachu ears on it. And I... That's really <laughs> neat. Yeah, it's because the Titan has such weird body proportions. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay. We're gonna... We're gonna crack just a few more here. Um, Let's... So I can't See believe they made here. Brock white. I can't believe they done whitewashed him. Ooh, okay. I want to do. We're gonna do the soccer girl being chased oh, yeah, by just... this guy. Um, beautiful. Soccer player being chased by a giant, ugly monster. Background is a soccer stadium. Boom. So, and then just as a reminder, I think um, Daz posted the link, but this workflow is available for download on my Civitai profile. So you guys can get this going and you can if you have low vram i would love to hear from those of you with low vram cards um if you want to test out what militant just suggested so you would download the workflow make sure all your nodes are updated you'll know you're updated properly if your load video nodes have this batch manager thing you pull this out you attach a vhs batch manager node you would have to do that for one you would have to do that for the mask for two right there and you would have to do it for your video combine right there and you would set all those numbers to the to whatever number you're trying and does some can anyone explain to me what making that number goes higher versus lower does You mean the batch size? Uh, the frames. Okay, so frames per batch. So I'm guessing the that that the, just sets the batch size that it's actually processing in any one time. So instead of processing, say, 30 frames all at once, or or 150 frames, or, or how however long the video is, it now breaks it up into smaller batches of whatever size you set there. So if you've got a video that is 900 frames, it'll still only process 16 frames at a time instead of trying to process all 500 frames. It will then, as long as you've got the batch manager connected to all of the um, VHS nodes, then it will manage those batches correctly and the final output will stitch those together for you. So this is being recorded and put on YouTube. So if you guys didn't get that, you guys can go back and replay that once I upload this to YouTube. So that might be an option for those of you who want to start doing this with low VRAM. There might not be that big of a, of a hurdle for you guys anymore. Thank you, Militant. You're always you so much. a wealth of yeah. knowledge. 
Yo, can we clap for Militant real quick? I clap for Militant and also to, to set me free TV for gifting a sub to Nanatab. Appreciate the support, man. I'm trying. I don't know if my mic's picking up me clapping, but rest assured, I have clapped. <laughs> All right, By the way, so I want to mention, actually, since we're on the topic of all of this, like, testing out these different settings to for different computers, you know what I would be willing to do is I'd be willing to have people, like, de like test it out on their system and, like, send, you know, their, send their results and also, like, their system specs. And I could, like, put it in, like, a spreadsheet and, like, do a bunch of, like, statistics, like, math. That would be great, man. You guys should coordinate that in the after hours. All right. But yeah. look at the soccer player. That looks Whoa. so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like awesome. I'm doing basketball, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, I think I real. think we've really gotten some great ones today. We're going to cap it off by um just revisiting the shark one more time with the with the mermaid because that one really kind of stole the show for me today so we are going to try this guy um i want to use the exact same thing that i had before so we're just going to go and pull the prompt from right here and then i will change the female cyborg to the mermaid. Boom, boom. Any guesses on what it's going to do with the legs slash tail? <laughs> with a fin for legs. Yeah. Wait, did she? Did she have? Did she have fin? A fin did for she? legs? What is? Well, like the the tail. Oh, wait. Oh, she's also on a skateboard. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to say a beautiful mermaid being chased by a great white shark. So we're going to cap off with this one because this one really stole the show for me today. Um, if I can figure out the, the right way for us to do a um, contest like that where I create a base video... I supply the alpha mask. Um, you guys have to use this, like the specific workflow. The video would only be five seconds long. And you guys all just like submit your finished video to a Dropbox or, or something. And then I go ahead and create the final edit and whatnot. And on the Twitch stream, we can, we'll watch the final thing. And then we unveil the... The top five at the very end. What do you What do you guys think of that? Is that something that everyone would be interested in participating in? Yeah, that, that would be cool. Me. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just a case of really coming up with the imagery then at our end, doesn't it? Exactly. It's just IP adapter and prompt, basically. Yeah. I'll I'll already have the the control net settings preset to something that like gets um gets outputs like this. So yeah. Um, uh, it'd probably be worth building in the uh, thing to do the batch stuff that Militant was on about as well. All right, guys. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do one more after the mermaid shark because I just saw it. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we're do gonna it. end it off with Snoop Dogg. We're gonna yeah, end it off with Snoop Dogg, <laughs> and then yes. in the, and in then. The, like... <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Oh Run, boy. Snoop. I love how we were. <laughs> you were so ready to end it, but then you saw Snoop Dogg, and it's just oh like, boy. You, okay. You, 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 you're on a mission. <laughs> Snoop Dogg being chased by enormous policeman. A giant that policeman background is sunset boulevard in los angeles oh my gosh. and for this one we're gonna say um 
hyper realistic horror film. All colors are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Did the mermaid come out? No, it's it's, it's about to come. It's about to come out right now. Okay. That makes more sense. But we lost the again. We lost the um Aww. the the face on the shark. So it and so that's that's a funny thing, right? Even though it's it's being masked and we're using the same images, it um the the combination of the two IP adapters will affect each other in small ways. Yeah. How does how does the mask work? The mask for for this? Like how's it masking? Yes. Okay, so the mask that I'm loading, right, that I created in After Effects is a cutout of the quote unquote subject. In this in this video, the sub the subject is the girl being chased. So when we load this video in, whatever images we put in our first IP adapter right here, which I have labeled as the subject, these are focusing strictly on the white section of the mask. It's not touching any of the black section. Then the mask gets plugged into an invert mask node that is on this side, flipping it so that the girl, the, the subject is black and the background is white. Ah, and so then, go on. I wonder, we saw this video from Phil where he did this composition. I wonder if it wouldn't be better if you just uh, used this... Um... Ah, that doesn't work, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, I thought you could compose two videos over each other instead of this invert mask. But, but um, yeah, this works as, as well. Of well, because when you, do it, when you do it like this, you want them all in one video because then Animate Diff has the chance to blend everything together. <clears throat> hmm. Rather than you like doing multiple videos and then trying to make it all um, match afterwards, like it's better if you can run it all through Animate Diff so it can really do what it does to tie it all together. <laughs> so, all right, let's see here. This looks like it is going to actually be pretty. Hilarious. <laughs> We're just waiting for the upscale to pop out right now. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, I'm going to talk to Justin and Max and run that idea by them. And I think that that will actually be a really dope thing. And I will put together, I, we, won't, we obviously won't use this video, but I will figure out a good concept a video that will be kind of like appealing for people to watch i will mask everything i'll do, put it all together and oh boy oh run snoop run run snoop <laughs> run wow bro run oh the cop's head is changing slightly at the top isn't it yeah he's getting a head <laughs> he's getting a like a haircut bro i almost feel like like i i wanted to I wanted to do the. I was gonna post the Credit. attack on Titan. I was gonna post the attack on Titan one tomorrow on the Civitai Instagram, but I almost want to post this one and like <laughs> put a put a put a Snoop Dogg song over it and just. This is okay. This wait, is wait, 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 wait. This is this is gonna be the deciding factor. Wait, we we got. Like, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. You guys, you guys always do this to me. This this is in in the purest. Just one more word, dope. One more. I want. Nope. I oh, want to see. I want to see what his um, what Snoop's face looks like at the very end right <laughs> here in the close up, and this will oh be, gosh. this will be the deciding factor whether or not this is the the Instagram <laughs> post. How Snoop this looks is going to decide how how if this. Do is this the outfit we want Snoop in? It looks like he's wearing. I mean, I guess no matter what, whatever he's wearing is gonna be a dress because she's wearing a dress. So he's kind of. It looks yeah. like he just like got out of bed and started being chased. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's I wearing his Gange he's, pajamas. He's he's Snoop <laughs> Dogg. He can he can wear everything. But hey, man. Um. I, I know I, t I tell you guys this at the end of every stream, but again, we really appreciate all of you guys coming and hanging out with us and really just like, uh, I don't think Ali, I don't, I don't think Ali, myself, Justin, Max, I don't, I don't know that any of us had like, knew that the, that starting to do office hours on Twitch and then throwing in like the video stuff from me like kind of how quickly it would snowball because I'm sure a couple of you guys remember that it was just like, I don't know, maybe 15 of us in here every Thursday and I was playing with Warp Fusions in Google Colab. So yeah, yeah, yeah man, I'm really stoked to, to see that like you guys enjoy it. More and more people come every week and the team is working really hard to, to make the website better and better fortunately yeah. things will happen overnight especially when you get as much traffic as we get on the website but everyone at civet works really hard i really enjoy doing all of the community side stuff because i think the ai community is incredible um and everyone is so like willing to share things and whatnot and i, I can't say the same about a lot of other artistic communities that would frown upon what we do there is a lot of gatekeeper stuff in other sectors of the whole thing yeah. but i really enjoy what we do here um the fact that so many of you come every week and actually stay for the whole stream tells us that you enjoy it so we're going to keep doing it yeah. and hopefully starting tomorrow with the guest streams um we can bring you guys even more value because i got the next four weeks of guest streams planned out and right. each week is someone doing something like totally different in a totally different area of image or video so those are going to be dope ali and i are going to start um another stream once we get the text uh, the the twitch redesign up and running since we're growing now and yeah just thank you guys we appreciate you uh, tomorrow's guest you. is a prompt genius so T tomorrow's Tomorrow's guest is indeed a prompt genius. So, Heck yeah. Dever. In training. Dever. <laughs> I would trust Dever to prompt anything that I have. That is why I asked him to be my first one. I thought it was only fitting that the first um, official guest, even though I had Phil on the other week, shout out, to, sh shout out to Machine Delusions. If you missed that one, you can go watch that whole stream on YouTube. Oh, that is so good. It's so good. <laughs> the, the face is awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> great. He does look a little bit high, which is very fitting. No, 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 no. That's that's. He looks like Snoop Dogg, dude. <laughs> that's bro. That's pure that's speculation. It's great. He's I appreciate just, that, oh, son, never. man. He would never. Snoop Dogg no. would never be high. No way. Never. <laughs> why, why would he? Yeah, exactly. Half baked for uh, confident. He, he's just happy. Oh, oh, it's so good. Okay, okay. Anyways, back to what I was, back to what I was saying. Um, Machine Delusions was the first guest that we did the other week. If you missed that stream, go watch it. There's a lot of nuggets in there for Comfy UI. Um, that stream went so good that I was like, you know what? I'll take on an extra stream every week. Let's get a guest in here and let's get the community more involved. I thought it was only fitting that the first guest in the new time slot that we're adding on Fridays was someone that is always here, who always throws stuff that the community knows and respects. And so Dever is the first one. We're going to go over prompting tomorrow because I know that prompting is, even with the IP adapter, the, with the IP adapter can almost make it feel like prompting isn't important, that important anymore. I still think it really is. And ha giving good words still makes a big difference to getting a good video, even with the IP adapter. So Dever is going to walk us through his process and how we can iterate from a basic image to a great image. And I'm really looking forward to it. So same time tomorrow. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate you guys. This stream will be posted on YouTube later tonight. Um, 
yeah, man, uh, I'm going to talk to Max and Justin about that contest because I think that'll be a really cool thing. And oh, can can you guys just imagine all of the the few the fuming hatred from all the AI people when we put all the AI videos into one giant AI video? Can oh you imagine? God. They're, 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 <laughs> I think it'd be a good every, showcase for what SCD can do. <laughs> their, heads, their heads are going to explode. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming. I will see you all tomorrow, same time, yeah. 3 p.m. Pacific with Dever. Um, yeah, man. I appreciate you guys. Civitai.com. Go download the workflow, start playing with it, rewind this on YouTube, find out how you can start messing with it with lower VRAM. Shout out to Militant Hitchhiker for dropping that on us. I will catch you guys next week. Peace. Good night, Hi. Hi. Tyler. Damn. Thank you, guys. Later, Twitch.